but respond to what we just heard from Secretary Ross here, that he says these really are sanctions that will bite, cutting off the currency flow. Secretary Ross is right. The sanctions that were imposed for the executive order yesterday are significant. There's one more step, though, to make them effective, and that's ultimately designating institutions. That was the power that President Trump has granted Secretary Mnuchin in actually going after companies specifically and cutting them out from the U.S. monetary system. The EO set up the mechanism for that to happen. The next step is to actually list a specific company that effectively implements the sanctions. And what do we know about the extent to which China is really cooperating? operating in these new sanctions. So I spend quite a lot of time in Beijing and there's been a number of moves that the Chinese Central Bank have made in the past year where they've effectively tried to up the ante for Chinese institutions to focus on uh, tougher anti-money laundering, tougher sanctions controls. The memo that's been reported that was sent to the banks in China telling them to cut off uh, transactions and wind down existing loans, it does seem like a legitimate threat. And, and realistically, there's only one part of the country that's still a concern for Chinese banks, and that's the Dandong region of China. But, but Dan, when it's come to, to trade and goods, we hear about all sorts of ways North Korea gets around these sanctions. You know, they have ships that are, have flags that you don't recognize, they go through different ports. Can they get around these sanctions in a practical manner? Are there other ways to get the cash in? Any sanctions program can effectively be gotten around. There's always been circumvention attempts that have happened. Uh, it's hard to say what will essentially happen from a circumvention standpoint. There's been reports of Russia and Chinese entities that have tried to bypass the sanctions to date. No sanctions program is foolproof. There will always be some way that someone will try and get around it. How do these sanctions compare to those that uh, the U.S. put on Iran? So they're actually extremely consistent with what the U.S. put on Iran, and that had a very significant attempt of bringing Iran to the table, even though there were only a handful of institutions that were ultimately designated under this authority that basically cut them out of dealings with the U.S. for their dealings with Iran. It's identical. But the point that, that the market needs to realize is that that took a couple years to really take a grip and bring Iran to the negotiating table. These sanctions don't move with any immediacy to forcing any sort of behavioral change.